Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, I'm going to try to build a controller out of scrap parts. You see, I have some extra leftover extreme rate controller mods, such as this back paddle kit with four paddles. Also, I have this front face plate that looks really nice and neat and popping. And I have these thumb pads that are detachable for different lengths. These are just some leftovers I have from the Hall Effect Pro Controller project that I worked on about a month ago. But the issue is I don't have a PlayStation controller to put these on. So I'm gonna go into my scrap and spare parts and try to see if I can build a controller from there. Since I've been working on this channel for the past two years now, I've accumulated a lot of different spare parts and broken parts that I just never throw out and keep. So I'm gonna dive in here and we're gonna see if we could build a controller using these spare parts. Since this back paddle kit is for the first or the second generation controller, I need to find a first or a second generation controller, accumulate all the parts and build it together. First, I need to find a functioning motherboard with the joysticks intact and that are not drifting because I don't have time in this video to fix stick drift and go all over that. That's going to be for another video. But once I find a functioning motherboard, I could start laying out all the parts such as the triggers and other components. So here I have laid out all the motherboards that I have and we're going to see if we could find one of these that are actually working and then we could start building the controller. So this one doesn't seem to be working. It looks like I did some work on here. We'll go to the next one. So I know some of these boards that I've uh, I fried or they just ended up not working. So I think there are a few that work. We'll just have to find them. Okay, this one's also is not working. Half controllers missing. So let's try this controller here. This is, it's missing one of the triggers. Okay, it looks like this one turned on. And it looks like, it looks like the board is good. It's not showing any drift. We may be able to use this. So if we check on the board right here, it says BDM020. So this is the second generation controller. So it looks like this board is good. I think I'm gonna go ahead and use this one. So I just need to find the rest of the parts for a 020. So if we check on the trigger, this is what it looks like. This is a 020. And I have another one here as the same trigger. This one, for example, is a 010. So these triggers or this controller will not work. So I also have this one, which is a 020. If I try to turn this controller on, it doesn't turn on, it just lights up, but then it turns off. So something's wrong with this board, but it's not a problem because these triggers are intact, as you can see. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this functioning board that we found and I'm gonna replace it with this one and we'll try to see if we could use this controller. I'm quite happy it took so fast to find a board that works and a controller that we can swap it to. As you can see, there's a lot of different components here. I didn't wanna take everything apart and try to build everything from scratch. I have my soldering iron heating up, so now we're gonna go ahead and swap those boards. Okay, so I connected everything here to ensure that everything is nice and firm. Now we could give it a test to make sure that the rest of the buttons and triggers are working. Okay, triggers are good. All those buttons are working nicely. So yeah, I think everything is here is good. So we're gonna remove everything here and put it in there. Since we checked, everything seems to be working. So we shouldn't have a problem installing it. Okay. 
these buttons are okay i just don't like this one here well, okay we could remove that so i think i'll stick with these buttons i think they're fine the black buttons will look okay on this probably with like clear ones but i don't have or i could use these white ones i think the white ones will look better on this shell so let's find some white buttons Touchpad. Okay, so we continue on now. I'm gonna stick those little pins inside these holes. Okay, so our front shell is finished. We can now put this back in here. Now let's get our custom joystick. Make sure we have our speaker in there. And you know what? We are almost done. If you if anyone is following along, I highly doubt that you guys have scrap controllers you want to build, but maybe if you do, who knows? goes in here I 
Oh, we have a problem here. We have a problem with this button. I don't know what happened with it. This one's good. This one's not good. Okay, so let's see what's going on here. So this is the same side here. I need a different one. Okay, much better. Yeah, this was not the right one. Since this is zero to zero, we're gonna cut the zero one zero strip here and here and here. out of here we're gonna need this part a little silicone let's see how all the buttons turned out okay it's good Now I have a, a few tutorials on my channel on how to install this kit in detail. I'm gonna leave the links on the top. So if you're wondering why I'm not commentating on all this, I am sick, my nose is stuffy. It's hard for me to breathe and talk. So if you guys do wanna see how to install these in full, just check out those videos. It's a full tutorial. I like to put some electric tape on here to bind everything because some of these controllers will be dropped and if there's a connection that comes loose you'll have to open it and no one wants to do that okay let's just make sure everything is good here before we close it up Everything is secured. Oh, I forgot this part. Very crucial to make it everything tight. All right. And we could screw on our case here for the back paddles. Back our controller here. Put this in like this. Now let's put these back panels in here. That turned out good there. So now we just need to find the cover here, the trim, and the R1 and L1. Here we have 
got L1 and R1. So here we got two triggers. We're gonna put it right here. Let's put our caps in. So the last part is, let's go and see if we could test it. So the back buttons are all working. D-pad's working. These are working. So it seems everything's working. One thing I noticed after I put the controller in, um, the phone jack was not connected to this motherboard. So I'll have to go back and fix it. And other than that, everything seems to be good. And we have our refurbished controller out of scrap. So after testing this board here, this one seems to be working okay. I don't like how the joysticks are centered. They're not the best, but it, it will do, I think. So I'm gonna switch it with this one since this does have the phone jack. And as we can see, this doesn't. So a lot of more work to do, but let's get it done with real quick. I guess it's kind of hard to miss it. Yeah, it's... Yeah, unfortunately this board is gonna go in the trash. I guess there's a reason why it was in a scrap. much better now all right so um let's just give you a quick test before we move forward with putting it back together So this seems to work. Now let's check out the back buttons. They're all working. So yeah, so I'm very glad that everything worked out here. That's working and that's working. 